So this afternoon's chemistry paper, higher level, um, examined in section A as per usual the experiments that students would have spent the last two years um, doing in the lab and um, looking at questions on. And the first one was um, the hardness in water, ethylene diamine tetracetic acid or EDTA titration, which was um, a nice um, straightforward volumetric analysis question with a calculation. Um, knowledge of formula and uh, knowledge of um, a test for the hydrogen carbonate ion would have been needed there as well just to, to put that one to bed. Then with question two, I suppose what we have here is we have a mixture of all of the different techniques that would have been involved in the organic experiments like refluxing, um, what you call solvent-solvent extraction and um, what recrystallization of benzoic acid crystals. So again, all topics that would have appeared before or in the past, but just you know, a kind of a, a, a question where they're, they're bringing in as many techniques as they possibly can. Small calculation involved in that one there too, but nothing that should be too difficult really. In question three, it was the third time that the heat of reaction for an acid and a base came um, up in this section. Um, a knowledge of your, your instruments, your hazard symbols, and um, straightforward calculation once again on how to work out or how to determine the heat of reaction for your acid and your base. In section B of the paper then we had um, the usual um, array of short questions in question 4. You're looking at um, a little bit more atomic theory, you're talking about some acids and bases, um, gas laws and displacement reactions. So, you know, again, um, empirical formula appearing there which would have occurred in the past, so nothing too, too difficult in that one. Question 5 was a really nice atomic theory question. Um, when you consider what has in the past come up, very straightforward question on isotopes and radioactivity, and um, so I would imagine that that would have been a quite popular, a, a quite a popular choice for for students this year. Question six: Your fuels and heats of reaction with um, Hess's law, applying it to a calculation, coming up once more, um, as per usual with organic chemistry, knowing your. Um, formulas, knowing how to name your compounds, knowing how to draw them, um, also important. Question 7, the graph in rates of reaction, interpreting information from it, calculating an instantaneous rate. So again, something that students would have been familiar with had they um, practiced these questions from before. Question 8, the general organic chemistry question didn't have any mechanisms in it or evidence for mechanisms, which made it a really nice, straightforward question. Um, a knowledge of the various different organic reactions were involved in it, though, so students would have had to also have known their intermolecular forces of attraction so that you could um, identify who'd have a higher boiling point and so on. Question 9, in chemical equilibrium, applying Le Chatelier's principle to an equation that was given and um, they gave us the heat change for the reaction and um, so again a calculation but something that would have been pretty um, what students would have been pretty used to doing over, over the last number of years in this section of the course anyway. So then question 10 and 11 gave what we always say the, the extra choice, you had more organic chemistry, more atomic theory, some stoichiometry appearing there about a, a rusting spanner to get your teeth into. And finally in question 11, bonding, um, which is as per usual normally on the paper, so making its appearance there, acids and bases, and being given a pH um, titration curve where you have to figure out whether they were going to, this was appropriate for a strong acid or a weak acid, so I hope that things went well with regards to that one. Option appearing then in question 11, um, part C, with um, the various different um, two options being examined, and similarly the option was the last part in question 4. So, all in all, a nice, straightforward, no surprise um, chemistry paper for 2018.